If you're busy in the morning but still want it healthy, I've got seven quick and healthy breakfasts for you and it's something different than smoothies and oatmeal because we all know them. And here are some breakfasts under five minutes. First one is a hummus wrap. The beautiful thing about this hummus wrap is that you can choose whatever veggies you like. I chose yellow bell pepper, cucumber, some arugula, creamy avocado and of course the hummus. So add a generous amount of hummus onto a whole wheat for Tia or any bread that you like and yeah just wrap it up into this beautiful wrap which actually tastes surprisingly yummy because of the creamy avocado together with the creamy hummus and the peppery flavor from arugula. This simple choco toast is for all of the sweet tooths out there, including me. <laughs> You're only gonna need a few things, so tahini. You can use whatever nut butter you like and some cacao powder, maple syrup. Then just stir it up into this beautiful chocolatey thing and add it to your newly toasted bread in the morning. Um, it's that easy, you can top with whatever you want. Slices of banana works really well on this one. I also chopped up some walnuts. Have it as it is on the go or um, yeah, have it like on a brunch like me and my sister had this work day together with a hummus wrap. This breakfast mug cake is one of my new favorites, so you just need an oven safe or microwave safe mug and a few ingredients. So the base is chickpea flour and oat flour and some nutritional yeast, some baking powder and spices, of course, don't forget the spices. And then the wet ingredients, plant milk, some oil, stir that up and I also added some chopped spinach and bell pepper. You can also add black olives, that would work great. And you only need one and a half minutes in the microwave and you will end up with this beautiful thing. I also added some yogurt and avocado for a more filling meal, cracked some black pepper and you are ready to go. It is very yummy and it almost tastes like a vegan omelet but in a mug cake, yeah. <laughs> This granola parfait is for you who like uh, yogurt bowls but want to be able to bring it with you or just have a yogurt bowl but fancier. So to a jar or glass add some granola, coconut yogurt or any yogurt, some fruit. You can use whatever fruit you have. I happen to have a very ripe pink vitaya. Yeah, it's stunning. I love it. I'm also adding some banana, some more granola and coconut yogurt, layering it with more fruits and add it to a sealable jar if you want to be able to bring it with you and have a nice breakfast on work or yeah, in school. Maybe you are super busy in the morning or you make the same breakfast every morning. But when these days comes around, I love having AG1 on hand, which is also today's sponsor. So thank you AG1 for sponsoring this video. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. And by drinking AG1, you increase your intake of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants, which keeps your body nourished all day long every day. And what I love about this is that it's very, very convenient on busy days. You just take a scoop, add it to water and blend and you're all set. And it's not like the usual like random greens powder because AG1 have the highest quality ingredients, 75 vitamins and minerals, whole food source and nutrients and more in one single scoop. These ingredients are carefully sourced to nourish your body and support your immune system. So if you want to try them out, AG1 is giving my community a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five travel packs. If you're using my link, which you find in the description down below, it's drinkage1.com slash Alexandra Anderson and they ship worldwide. Here's some make ahead breakfast for even smoother mornings. Starting with these burritos. So I'm not the person who eats a savory breakfast, but these ones I can really eat like, yeah, for several days. So I have to show them to you. And as in all burritos, you're gonna add some veggies, um, starting with some garlic, black beans, bell pepper, corn kernels, and lots of spices. You can't have enough spices when cooking plant-based. Don't forget the spices. 
I'm slightly mashing up the beans for everything to hold together. And while those are sauteing, I'm gonna make an avocado mash, which basically is just a very ripe avocado together with some lime juice, mashing that up with a pinch of salt. Then bring out the tortilla bread and add the beans on top and a generous amount of avocado mash. Roll it up into a burrito and wrap some foil around it. Place it into the fridge and the morning after you're just gonna do one simple thing. Grab the burrito, take it out of the foil and on a dry pan or you can also add some oil and saute or fry it on medium heat for about two minutes on each side and you will end up with the most crispy, warm, delicious burrito. Wrap some paper around it and you can grab it and eat it on the go. And yeah, feel free to add some more sauce. You can dip it into hummus, vegan mayonnaise, yogurt or why not sriracha. Blended overnight oats. I know I said no oatmeal, but this is not the regular oatmeal. You're gonna blend it up and it's gonna taste great. So add some rolled oats, uh, plant milk, vegan yogurt, I'm using coconut yogurt, and some medjool dates to sweeten, vanilla extract, and you're gonna blend it up until it's a smooth batter. Add some mashed up fruits or berries to a jar and then just pour in the blended oats. I like to make my food fancy. Um, but yeah, just add the lid on there and place it into the fridge at least for an hour, but preferably until the morning after. Then you can just grab it, have it on the go, or you can have it at home and just add some more fruits. And yeah, the morning is pretty hassle free because you already have a nutritious breakfast prep for you. And yeah. This vegan cream cheese toast is a must try. So the night before I'm preparing some vegan cream cheese, not any cheese. This cheese is packed with protein thanks to the cashew nuts and firm tofu. So I'm blending these up together with some spices and lemon juice. You can do it in a food processor as well and you end up with this creamy cream cheese and adding to a jar. You can make a big batch and have it for the rest of the week. And when the morning comes, you're just gonna do a few things. So one, toast your bread. And second, cut up a veggie. I really like pairing this with fresh tomatoes. Third, add on the cream cheese and toppings onto the toast. I'm also adding some basil and black pepper. And you end up with these beautiful toasts and your breakfast is ready. You can keep on with your day and yeah, I really hope you liked this video, got some helpful inspiration and let me know in the comments which breakfast you're gonna try first. And I'll see you in the next video.